Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here and I am back again with another Creative Cow tutorial and in our ongoing look at learning Avid's Media Composer and Symphony, I have another email from a viewer who's having a problem and he writes, Dear Kevin, I'm Sylvan here from Malaysia. I'm a follower of your tutorials at creativecow.net and have been learning quite a lot of stuff from your tutorials on how to better use Avid Media Composer for my editing jobs. I have a question and I hope you don't mind taking your time reading through it. I'm working on a documentary and I have tons of footage loaded into separate bins in my project. As I was doing some cleaning up, I accidentally cleared some footage from my bin without realizing that those footages are being used in sequences. How silly of me. Now those footages in the timeline show as media offline. My question is, is there any way I can relink those footage files from the timeline to a new bin by re-importing the footage back? Or is there no way for me to replace those clips individually? Well, Sylvan, of course there is always a way to get your footage back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few scenarios where you might think footage has disappeared and how you can go about getting it back. Okay, let's just get into Symphony and let me show you some of these techniques to get you back up and running. Okay, so let's alt tab into Symphony, obviously command tab for all of my Mac friends out there. And I've imported some footage here for us to create a timeline with. So what I'm going to do is just pick, I don't know, maybe we'll pick six or seven shots here. We're just going to drop them into a timeline. Nothing too specific about these shots, nothing specific about their duration. We just need some footage to put in here. And what we're going to do once we're done is I'm actually just going to delete everything else that I'm not using in this project. This is also a great little quick tip for everybody out there as to how to do this little bit of a cleanup here. And what do we got there? That's five. Let's do a couple more here. Let's just choose this one here. And we'll do one more. Let's choose, sure, why not? We'll choose this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is with these seven clips, I believe that's seven clips in our timeline, what we're going to do is we're just going to call this our master super awesome timeline. And what I want to do is I want to delete all of the clips that I'm not currently using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the sequence. I'm going to navigate up to clip. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to navigate to bin, not to clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, with the sequence selected, I'm going to say, show me the media relatives. What Symphony or Media Composer is going to do is it's going to show you all of the clips that are currently being used in that selected timeline. Well, of course, now what I want to do is I want to navigate back up to bin and say, okay, well, reverse that and show me everything that's not being used. So what I'm going to do is just delete all of these clips here. And you'll see I'm now left with only the clips that are in my current timeline. Very, very handy. Okay, so first scenario you might run into when you come into a project, and this is something that happens to me all the time when I'm uh, working my you know daily job, and that is sometimes the clips or effects or things like that are actually hidden. They're there, you just can't see them. Now, why would you want to have clips or effects in your bin and not be able to see them? Well, let's use titling, for example. Well, let's say you had a sequence that had 600 titles in it, and you had all of the titles inside, and we'll just say for hypothetical purposes, this is our sequences bin, not our footage bin. You had 600 titles in that bin. You also had a whole bunch of sequences, and, and you know you didn't really want to move those titles out of there. You wanted to keep them in there. You can actually hide them. Now, how would you go about doing that? Well, what you would do, is you would, I'm just going to move my bin over here a little bit here because I want to get to this hamburger in the lower left hand corner. I'm just going to click on the hamburger and I'm going to navigate up to set bin display. Now what set bin display does is it actually tells Media Composer Symphony what elements you want to see in your bin. You'll see right now I have master clips, sub clips, sequences, effects, motion effects, groups, and stereoscopic clips selected. You'll see I also show clips created by the user and I can also show the reference clips. Now, in this case, you see I have all of these different options selected. And like I said, if I wanted to get in and hide, in this case, the master clips, that's what these clips are, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deselect master clips and I'm going to say OK, and there they go. They're gone. They're not really gone. I just can't see them. Now, obviously, like I said, this works great, especially if you have some titles in here. You know, maybe you are updating slates and stuff like that, and it's always going to save those slates into the bin where the sequence is. This is a great way you can get in and keep them in that bin and just hide them. And if you ever want to get them back, of course, what you want to do is just navigate back to that hamburger, come back up to set bin display, simply turn master clips on and say OK, and there they all are. OK. So let's take things one step further and let's talk about you know a little bit more of a dire situation where what's happened is someone has come in 
and they've selected your clips and they've deleted the master clips. So there they go. Now you'll see that all of my footage is still on my timeline. The only problem is I don't have access to those master clips. And of course, if I come back into set bin display, master clips is on. So I know those master clips exist. I just can't see them. So what do I do? Well, I talked about this a little bit in a previous tutorial on the media tool. What you can do is navigate up to tools. You can simply navigate down to media tool. What we're going to do is just say, we're going to select the Y drive because I know that's where all my footage is. And I'm just going to select the current project. And you'll see the current project right now is Learn Media Composer. I'm simply going to select just the master clips for this project and I'm going to say go. You'll see now that inside the media tool I now have those seven clips that are in this timeline. What I can do is simply select all those clips, simply drag them right back here into the footage bin. You'll see they're still in the media tool because remember they are still referenced inside the media tool. I can simply close it and now I have access to all of these clips again inside of my bin. But here's the problem that we have. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pick three clips at random. I'll just pick this one, I'll pick this one, and I'll pick that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select those three clips, I'm going to select the media files, and I'm going to select the master clips, and I'm going to delete them. Of course, I'm going to be prompted to say, are you sure you want to delete this? I don't know, am I sure I want to delete this? Yes, I'm sure I want to delete it. Let's get rid of it. And you'll see that right now, I now have these red bars in my timeline. My clips have turned red. Now, what exactly does that mean? Well, you'll see it's media offline, and how I know that is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the hamburger in the lower left-hand corner of the sequence window. What I'm going to do is navigate up to track color. I'm actually going to navigate up to clip color here. I'm just going to click on it, and you'll see that inside of clip color, the offline color is red. Well, I could actually make that, I don't know, uh, why don't we make it like a green color? Say, okay. Guess what? Now it's green. I could also come up here back to clip color, and I could say, well, you know what, maybe we'll make it, I don't know, maybe this blue is a nice color. There we go. So you can see you can really make it any color that you want. But you know what? Nothing says or really screams in your face that your media is offline like a nice bright red color. There we go. Okay, so what I'm also going to do in this case is I'm just going to delete the master clips. Not the actual media, just the master clips for this. And this is the situation that we're in. And in a lot of cases you might come into a project, let's say you've unarchived a project, and you know your sequence is there in most cases, but you're going to find some offline elements just like that. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to what we did before. I'm going to come up to Tools. I'm going to come down to Media Tool. Again, I'm going to select the Y drive because I know that's where all my footage is. I'm going to select the current project. And I'm simply going to say OK. Now, you'll see the problem that we run into is that we now have these four clips. we got 611, which is actually right here, 621, which is right here, 627, which is right here, and 632, which is right here. But these three clips are still missing, and I can't get them back. Now, if I digitize these clips and if I imported them, it's kind of similar as to how we're going to get these clips back. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to close the media tool here for a second, and I'm going to select my sequence. What we're going to do is with that sequence selected, I'm going to navigate up to clip, and what we're going to do is we're going to come down to decompose. Now, everyone always kind of laughs when they hear that term decompose, because what does decompose actually mean? Well, it means to break down. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to break this clip down and get access to these three clips right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select. Now again, I could come up to clip, or what I could do is simply right click on the sequence. And what we have to do is just inside this giant drop down, you'll see actually there's decompose right up here towards the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select decompose. Now you're going to see I have a few options. What do we want to decompose? Well, we want to decompose offline media only. In this case, I only want to get back these three clips. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to decompose offline media only. Now the next one is a big one. What type of clips do you want to decompose? Captured clips only, imported clips only, or capture and imported clips. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to select capture and imported clips. Now the next question that we're going to be asked is, how long do you want the handles on these clips to be? Now, handles basically means is that beyond the edit points here, how much extra clip do you want brought back in? Now, in most cases, you're not going to want that much. You might want enough to put a dissolve or something like that. And so in most cases, in this case, because I'm working in 24 frames per second, 48 frames or two seconds is way more than enough. Now, you'll see I could create a new sequence if I wanted to, but in this case, I don't want to do that. I simply want to deselect create new sequence. You'll see you can also have an expert decompose, but to be perfectly honest, I never use that. I've really been doing it the old-fashioned decompose way since I've been using Media Composer way back at version 5.5. And I don't mean 5.5, you know, the one that came before the current version we're working on. So it was, needless to say, it was a while ago. 
So all I'm going to do now is simply say OK, and you're going to see now that what's happened is, is that three new clips have appeared inside of my timeline. And you'll see that they reference 631 right here, 616 right here, and 626 right here. You're also going to see if I drag out here, now let's just see, do I have my views here? There we go, I do have my clips view. Now you're going to see that what's happened is, and I'll just take this first clip as an example, let's just select the first clip, I'm going to hit T on the keyboard. This clip is about six seconds long, so what it's going to do is it's going to add handles on either side. So what we're going to do now is we're simply going to select these clips right here, I'm going to navigate up to clip, I'm going to come down to batch import, it's going to say well, what do you want to batch import, do you want to batch import offline only, all clips, or do you want to cancel, I'm going to say offline only, it knows where all these clips are because they're still in the same place on my drive and I'm simply going to say go. What's going to happen is, is that Symphony or Media Composer is going to rebatch import these files right back into the bin and of course it's going to repopulate the media tool with these new clips. And what's going to happen is, once it's finished, those clips are going to immediately reappear inside of my timeline, kind of like this. There we go. And you'll see now, as I drag through, all of my clips are back exactly as I had them from the beginning. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hit F7, and you'll see that, of course, the edit points are exactly the way that I had them to begin with. So you'll see, using the fantastic decompose feature, that is how you're going to get your clips back that have been accidentally deleted. And I'm telling you, you're going to be back up and running in no time flat. So if you have any questions, you have any comments, or you have any tutorial requests, you can send them to Kevin P. McAuliffe at gmail.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.